Namaste friends. Today is something a very divine day. Something unexpected had happened. And I am given a way, paved the way to go to Kottiyur, Mahashiva temple. With the utmost divinity I am presenting this piece of video to you. I hope everyone enjoys it. Certain knowledge I would like to pass here. Which probably many would have passed, but I am not sure about it. Here I am. Kotiyur Mahashiva temple, which is actually the Dakshina Kashi in Kerala, known as. It had many other names, but something different is many places we say united and then diversified. It is totally different. Diversified and then united. It seems the ancient law says after the Dakshayaga. Probably the era got over and probably the flood came, what we call the end of the world, universe. And then the new yuga started when, you know, there are ten incarnations of Lord Mahavishnu. Malsya kurma varaham niye, narahariyam vamananam niye. And the sixth one, the incarnation, Lord Parashurama. Lord Parashurama, many people know, he was a stubborn person, uh, Rishi, and then king, and then it goes like that. He had killed many kings because of the unwanted elements brought out by the then kings. Lots of problems faced by the people. Whoever were doing the bad things, evil, he was killing them. When he goes to the war, and that's the end of it. Nobody can win him over because he is the Bhagavan himself, the sixth incarnation of Lord Mahavishnu. Now here he comes and he wanted a place to live in because he was not keeping him to himself anything which he earned. He was immediately giving away to the Brahmins and other people, they called Viprans. So when he came to, when he was looking for a space, he asked God Varuna, the sea god, what to do? He said there is a place in the Bharata Ganda, that is, they see the Jambu Dibu, which has all the places there from uh, almost uh, Laos, Vietnam, from that side, including Indonesia, and then to the Afghanistan back, including almost part of Saudi Arabia and Iran. That was the Jambu Dibu at that time, including the Himalayas and the Trump. So, all this Sri Lanka, all this Mauritius. Uh, Maldives, everything you were in uh, Jambudhi, that was the Bharata Ganda. And Bharata Ganda was within it, but it happened to be one among the world, maybe that we call as Asia. So when he was prayed, he was told that you can use your axe and take what you want. So thus when he performed the art act and he had from Gokarna to Kanyakumari, that's what we call as Kerala today. And Kutiyo was submerged in the water. There when he came, he found there was already a god, Kali. Everywhere if you see in Kerala, ancient law says Kerala was a land of snakes, serpents. The Sapta Nagas, the Ashta Nagas, and the Nava Nagas, where all the story goes like that. So when he found that there was a God already Kali. It was difficult for him to make over, make understand, and he had to enter into a war. And he won, and he was going to kill Kali when the Trimurti appeared and said not to do so. When he consecrated the temple, Ikare you, and then the rituals and all the Anushtanas which they are doing to their rites. That was, the system was given by Adi Shankara. So, the story is different. Why? Because here, after the Triyaga, when the Shiva was very upset, and he has to be cooled down. And who cools him down? Mahavishnu. Here there is a ritual in the Akare Kotiyur, during this monsoon time, that is between June and July time, that during the puja, the worship, the main particular portion over here is, 
that the pujari, the priest, who is to be only a person who is designated, not everybody, he holds the Shivalinga, which is supposed to be Swayambhu Shivalinga, to such an extent of time, maybe not 15 minutes and 20, maybe it's more probably sometime for hours. He was in such a way that you don't even feel that he, is, he has life in it. So that actually he holds Shivalinga till Shiva is cooled down. He represents Mahavishnu. So that showed the unity of Shaivit and Vaishnavit. So there is no Shiva without Vishnu. There is no Vishnu without Shiva. It's like a Shiva Shakti. That is what this story tells us about Kotiya. Please watch. The Peraur Junction and the Peraur Street for the shopping comes en route to Kottayur from Sri Mrilanga Shaileshari Temple. Now we are going towards Kottayur. Kottayur has two parts that is Kottayur and Akara Kottayur. Akara Kottayur is generally open only during the monsoon season that is particularly June, July, August season. And the Kottayur as such is open throughout. And uh, it seems Akara Kottayur is basically the forest area and uh, not much construction done as a temple. Be the complete area over here is surrounded by hills, mountaineering and the greeneries. The Kottayur temple is all about the Daksha Yaga and its after effects. It says so that Daksha organized a huge Yaga and intentionally avoided Shiva and Sati. Everybody knows about Shiva and Sati Devi. Even though discouraged by Shiva, who told her not to go to a function where she and her husband were un uninvited, the personal bondage with her parents made Sati ignore social etiquette and her husband's wishes. That's what even now also we do. Sati, without Shiva, went to the ceremony. She was snubbed by Daksha and insulted by him in front of all the other guests, as all the Devas and Rishis and Munis were present. Sati, unable to bear further insult, ran into the sacrificial fire and immolated herself. Shiva, upon knowing the terrible incident, in his wrath invoked Virabhadra and Bhadrakali by plucking a lock of hair and trashing it on the ground. Like in our Charvatur, we still have the, we have the Virabhadra temple. And there are many. Virabhadra and Bhudaganas marched south and destroyed at the premises all the Igya Karyams. Daksha was decapitated and the Igna Shala was devastated in the rampage. The Bhudagana celebrated victory by plucking the beard of the presiding master of the Igya, which was Sage Brigu as a war souvenir. Daksha was later forgiven and given life by fixing a ram, that's a male god's head. And the Yajna was allowed to complete with the presence of all the divinity as the Devas and the Rishis and Munis said that the Yajna which has been incomplete is going to do very bad to the world, to the universe. The story continues by the act of Vishnu in pacifying Shiva who was in deep grief in seeing the half-burned corpse of his beloved wife Sati. Vishnu embraced Shiva to pacify him Shiva, unable to part with Sati, took her corpse and wandered all over. The body parts of the corpse of Sati Devi fell in the places where Shiva travelled. The places where the body parts Sati Devi's corpse fell came to be known as Shakti Pedas. Now, there is another turning point over here. Now, here the Lord Parishurama enters. After many years, as the ages after the dreadful incident in Havok, carrying Sati Devi's tears and curse, the land started being governed by Kali, the personification of Kali Yuga, in fact, the reigning power of calamity. Means that's the time the pralaya would have taken place. Kerala was submerged underwater. Parashirama, who donated all his conquered land to Brahmins, you must be knowing the story of the Parashirama, needed a place to live in. At the request of Varuna, the god of water, he threw his axe from Gokarna in Karnataka to Kanyakumari, the southern tip of 
Tamil Nadu and Kerala. And Kerala re-emerged from the sea. Parishurama was attacked by Kali in Kottiyur. It is told. It seems he overpowered Kali and as he raised his axe to kill her, the Trimurtis, that is the Vishnu, Brahma and Shiva, materialized there and stopped Parishurama from that act. He released Kali on the condition that he would never ever come into the promises of the Soyambhu Linga of his Guru Shiva in Kottiyur. He started the 27-day festival to remember the, by the incidents that happened in the place. Well, here we have reached the Kottiyur Mahashiva temple. This is, as I told, two parts, Akara Kottiyur and Ikara Kottiyur. Ikara Kottiyur throughout the year, the programs are going. This is Ailya Kaavu. Ailya Kaavu means Ailyam Nakshatra star is one of the 28 stars of the uh, Malayalam uh, calendar. Most important for all the Shaivids, even otherwise Vaishnavids also. It's about the snake. Now this is the board which they kept so that nobody should enter the Ailya Kaavu. The Ailya Kaavu is on the left hand side of the entrance which goes on till the back as well as to the other side. It may be in acres and acres. Here, nobody is allowed to enter. Except during the festival days, but also for very few people. The Devasam board offices, and also I think he is the Mahat of the elephant Chandrasekhar in there. And they were kind enough to show me the place. He's coming and showing me the uh, Goshala, that is the covered shed. Uh, they have lots of uh, cows, uh, which of course gives milk, curd, and uh, the butter, all the things for the pujas. And it also has uh, uh, lovely something really eye-catching, the elephant. His name is Chandra Shekharan. And something very beautiful is he is the one who takes the uh, idol during the festivals. Uh, he is for the last 30 years plus. And I was so bewildered that his age is above 60 years. I couldn't believe. See how he welcomes me. It's something very natural. I couldn't believe. And as I started talking to him, he had a very pleasing way of, you know, uh, shaking his head and kind of a little dancing and then uh, raising his trunk. And that is something great. I hardly ever felt this kind of a, a divinity. I can never forget in my lifetime what uh, Chandra Shagan has offered to me. Unfortunately, I didn't take carry anything to give him. And it was really, uh, I felt very sad for not carrying anything for him. As I didn't, I was not aware of. Now, after the, uh, the this elephant is a very important being in this temple. This is where you see, are, what is the name? Parandane? Chandra Shagar. And Bilcha Bilgalko. Chandra Shekhar, there he is looking and leveling.